The country of Canada is defined by the canoe. Our roads were our waterways. If you fly over our country still today, there is equal amount of water to land. And the canoe was the car that opened up our country. The Canadian Canoe Route connects Toronto with our nation's capital, Ottawa, via the canoe. By connecting this path through the passport, we uh, are able to have visitors to our country feel what it is like to be Canadian. The first stop is the Canadian Canoe Museum in Peterborough, which is about an hour and a half drive from Toronto. It is an incredible collection of over a thousand boats. The next stop is the Madawaska Canoe Centre, right here on the Madawaska River, where you learn to paddle a canoe. En route to the Ottawa River, we'll be stopping in Golden Lake at the Algonquin Nation uh, in Pickwaknagon. And they are still building a birch bark canoe yearly. They're the craftsmen of learning why the birch tree is so important in our culture. It still exists today. The canoe is used widely by Aboriginal people as well as non-Aboriginal people. It's uh, something that the Algonquins and the other Indigenous people uh, somehow developed over time as an important part of the culture and the creation of their economies, their social and their trade networks. And the more exciting stop is the Ottawa River where you paddle a modern canoe, a raft, down the giant waves of the Ottawa River. It's a uh, phenomenal river that is the blood vein to our country and then we finish in uh, the, our nation's capital. The final stop is in our nation's capital where we'll paddle to uh, the island in the middle of the Ottawa River in the shadow of the Parliament buildings, Victoria Island, where the um, Aboriginal experiences have an incredible interactive community sharing their history and the culture of the canoe. The canoe is as Canadian as it gets and uh, for me personally it's uh, a symbol of peace, serenity and freedom paddling on the water. <laughs>